In western Quebec, across the river from the nation's capital, the Quebec Liberals' track record goes back decades. But even here, on the outskirts of Gatineau, loyalty is waning among party faithful. The promises that were made are not being kept. For the first time in a decade, the main opposition for the Federalist Liberals is not the Sovereignist Parti Québécois. There's a third party in town, it's centre-right, and it's polling as the front-runner. There's a wind of change blowing over Quebec, just as there was a wind of change blowing over Ontario, the U.S., France, so there's a political shift. For staunch Federalists, Quebec Liberals are no longer the only choice. François Legault vows a government formed under his Coalition Avenir Québec, or CAQ, will never hold a referendum on sovereignty. They're dancing around the issue. Uh, they're saying we should change our uh, point of view on politics. It shouldn't be Federalists against sovereignists. Still, some can't ignore the CAQ leader's separatist roots. I don't like the idea that he was a separatist before and went away and forget him, as far as I'm concerned. Though polls suggest Pontiac is firmly in the grasp of Liberals, some at the local Legion find themselves wavering. Uh, should I say it? No. Yeah. The, the immigrants? That really bothers me. I really don't think the health care is what it used to be. While the CAQ has hit the ground running, the Liberals have lost much of their core team. Some voluntarily stepped aside, others were pushed out. It now appears to be a two-horse race, and even the PQ knows it. It's taken a self-deprecating approach to the campaign with ads like these. C'est vrai qu'au Parti québécois, on a une année difficile. The party admits it's had a tough year but says it'll never give up. With the PQ struggling, most of the attention and pressure is now on the CAQ. Their sails are being blown by hot air, the air of change, the, the, the wind of change that is blowing over Quebec. The challenge for François Legault will be to maintain that edge. Philippe Couillard called the election a few days early, which might give the Liberals more time to pull ahead or for their main rival to trip up. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.